This is your one and only FireSpark81 with your daily dose of video goodness and welcome back to another informational Valheim video. Today we're going to talk about tar pits and tar. Let's get to it. So a lot of new recipes, specifically the dark wood building pieces, all take tar. And in order to get tar, you need to come over here to the plains and you need to find tar pits. They're pretty easy to find. They're all over the plains. Once you are over here, you got to fight these guys, the growths. They spit at you. If they hit you, it poisons you and tars you and it sucks. And honestly, I think locking wooden build pieces behind such a tough mechanic in such late part of the game is kind of not that great and not the best decision, but eh, it's not my game and that's just my opinion. Anyway, these things aren't too bad to kill if you don't melee them. Now, they are weak to blunt, so if you have an iron mace, honestly, you can wreck them with just an iron mace. However, uh, it looks like they're getting into a fight with locks up there, so that's going to ruin what I'm trying to show you here. Uh, you can use fire arrows and fire at them at a distance. If you stay far from them and you don't get spotted like we just got spotted there and you actually get the jump on them, you can do a lot of damage with a fire arrow right from the get-go. Now, you can also keep your distance between you and them and they can't hit you. So they do have a much shorter range on their slime ability there than you do. And if you do manage to hit them with the fire arrows, uh, it does burn them for a good bit. So let me just go up here. I'm in God mode, so I won't die, but I want you to see the damage. So you can see there they're burning for 2.7. 2.7. But if you actually get the jump on them, and uh, let me just kill this one here. And let's see if we can get the jump on one here. So we got one there in the distance. I'm going to attempt to hit it. It uh, looks like, oh no, I did hit it. Okay, so we hit it, and you can see he's burning for 3.7. He's almost dead. One more shot ought to kill it. If I can hit it. There we go. So it's not too bad if you can keep your distance from them and just pick them off. Now, bows have gotten quite a nerf, and you might not be very high in bows. I'm only currently on well, this one. What are we at here? 23 so we're not even high but I do have a level 2 huntsman bow and we're just using basic fire arrows they burn for a decent amount uh, it doesn't show that they're weak to the burning but they're tar monsters and when you are tarred you are weak to being burnt so you know I figured it's probably pretty decent damage there we go so we basically just two shot that one there once you kill them they will drop a little bit of tar I would kite them out so that it does not fall in just makes it easier but in the long run it doesn't matter because we're going to end up draining this thing anyway yes you have to drain these tar pits in order to get all of the tar out of them as you see there it says it's stuck in tar so the easiest way to do that is to come right to the edge of the tar pit where it connects with the plane so like right here is a good spot we should be able to start digging down here and not have the tar flow into our hole before we're ready so what you want to do is dig down a little bit so you can see where the grid pattern runs and you can see right now the grid pattern runs this way in this way so what we want to do is we want to start digging diagonal because that's going to allow us to do a lot less work and make a much bigger hole so we're just going to start to dig down but once you get all the way down as far as you can dig you can't dig anymore that is when you are going to get into the corner away from the tar pit if we go up here you can see there's our tar pit so we want to go in this direction here and we are just going to start knocking out the wall and continuing to dig in this direction. Now, you wanna dig further than you think you need to dig because these things can be crazy, crazy, crazy deep at times and they will just fill the trench with no problem whatsoever and it won't completely empty the pit. Okay, so there we go. Now we got a nice long trench dug. I know it's super ugly and super annoying that we have to do this, but you need to do it in order to get the maximum amount of tar that you can get. Now we're gonna make sure that we know where our pit is. Our pit is right here. Oh, we're gonna lag a lot too. Our pit is right here. We got a goblin apparently swimming in it, which is hilarious. And what we're gonna do is we're going to just dig towards our pit. Now, at some point, the tar is going to come just flowing in and once we get to that point what we're going to do is uh well apparently we have a goblin buddy now 
Let's get rid of him. Uh, so what we're gonna do is just walk up the side here. You can see it's starting to flow in now. So just continue to walk up the side and pick your pickaxe back out. It's gonna keep going away. Just pull it back out as soon as you're able to get your footing again and continue to dig. Now, once you get a little bit uh, dug there, you can come around to the edge here and just walk back up out of it. You don't jump out of it very well, so I advise not trying to jump out of it. But if you watch, it's slowly just going to go down in there and it will slowly just uh, dissipate. Because once you dig so far, it apparently can only expand out so far before it just starts to disappear and there we go we are now at a point where we need to dig out a little more so what we're going to do is just kind of step down here a little bit and then do the same thing and then let it drain jump up the side and then uh, we can just knock this down a few times here we need to get below where it is in the center in order to drain all of it all right, and that should be it, and it should just drain out into there and then eventually all disappear and there won't be any tar left. Now what we can do is just go through here and gather up all of this tar that is all over. As you can see, there is an absolute ton of it everywhere. And after we're all done, you can see that we've gained a total of 112 tar. I've gained anywhere from 112 to 115. Uh, it varies a little bit here and there. Once you have the whole pit drained, uh, you can easily get to all of it. Keep in mind that the tar pit monsters or the, what are the, the gross, whatever they're called, will show up after two in-game days. So if we skip a day here and then we skip another day, there you can see one just spawned and another one just spawned. So every two days you can come back to here. You can just put a portal here. You can come back to here and you can fight these annoying guys. If you do get the surprise on them, you can see they die really easy to blunt and then you can uh, harvest tar that way as well. But uh, you apparently only get one or two from each of them. So that's something to keep in mind as well. I think it's a lot easier just to find the tar pits and drain them. They're relatively prevalent all over the plains area. I've been finding them and working out a way to drain these things. And I haven't had too many issues finding them when I need to find a new one to figure out how to drain them. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for this one. I just want to show you, make sure you drain them. The tar pits because there's a lot of tar under there that you can't get to now I also kind of recommend digging around just a little bit because sometimes they can spawn just under the surface I haven't found any that are too deep so like just take two wax around the the inside here or you can kind of just get in here and get in a low spot and smooth it out a little bit as well and you can spot any that spawn below the surface that way as well um, I've only seen a couple do that where they're just below the, the surface nothing too deep deep so just something to keep in mind if you don't get too much and you're like I wonder why I'm not getting much just kind of lower the the ground around the area and check below the surface because the larger tar balls that were there may have spawned underneath of it all right and that's going to be it for this one hopefully you found this video helpful and informational if you did consider hitting the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can be notified when I upload other videos and I don't just cover Valheim I cover all kinds of different games so you never know when I'm going to be playing and or making guides for a game that you may be playing. All right, that is going to wrap it up for this episode. I want to give an absolutely massive shout out and thank you to my supporters on Patreon for making this episode possible. Y'all are absolutely amazing people. If you would like to join my Elite Crow Patreon supporters, please check out the link in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. If you're shy, you don't like to comment, just hit that thumbs up button and share your support. Until next time, thanks for watching.